Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Lonnie. So let's go get um, let's go get Twitch and say good morning Twitcheroonies. Good morning Twitcheroonies. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do we have you? Do we have you? Do we have you? Yes, we do. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, so now let's go get TikTok. Good morning, TikTok. This is so, oh. So why, oh, okay, we'll have to do something just a little different. Hold on. Yay, there I am. Hi, everybody. All right, so that was really kind of weird. Um, I want to just make sure we got everything. Morning, everybody. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Oh, my gosh, it's so weird seeing me full screen. Good morning, Elizabeth. And I don't have headphones on and I'm not gaming, so I'm just going to stare at you all morning and be kind of like awkward. <laughs> How are you doing, everybody? Oh, I really need to not do that. I just saw the I just saw the playback and that was not all that great. So happy coffee with Lonnie. How are y'all doing? This is your opportunity. Team cheers. Thank you, Vanessa. All right, this is your opportunity, everybody. You got you have all my attention. You have 100% Lonnie attention. What do you got going on? Hello, Kay. Nope, I drink my coffee black. See? Black like my soul. I don't know why I said that. Good morning. It's really weird having you here because I find that I'm looking like that. So let me move you over here and then I'm going to move you over here. And then we're going to go full screen and then I got, I got that. Good morning, Nikki. All right. I think I got it. I think I got it all worked out now. It's subject to debate, but I think I got it all worked out. All right, so how's everybody doing? So what do you got going on? Oh, then you're going to love my shoulder because I have a big old butterfly right there. Well, thank you, Shanisa. I appreciate that. So I, originally what I was going to talk about, everybody, and I'm just going to just jump right into the conversation, but I was going to talk about um, the stresses of the holidays. I mean, we put so much stress on ourselves every single day for just like the simple, most mundane thing. And then when the holidays come along, we're just like, hey, let's just up the stress for no reason. Let's just make every, our lives even more miserable. All right. And here's the thing. And again, I say this a lot, but I really do want to reiterate on this thought. And I really do want to... Um, I really do want to like, just drive this, this point home, but, um, reset. I'm trying to see, oh, you know what? I'm going to put my little, I'm going to put my little apple orchards. Hold on. But I really want to reset the, I really want to, um, I really want to just remind us all that here's the thing, everybody. It's, we put this pressure on ourselves. I mean, society's like, oh yeah, you need you need to do A, B, and C, but it's really up to us. Um, it's really up to us at the end of the day how much we believe in that rhetoric and how much pressure we're going to put on ourselves. You know, and that's just the way it is. Um, very cool. So anyway, that's what I really want to talk about is like how much pressure are we going to be putting on ourselves? Because I think we just need to stop doing that and we just need to be more happy in the moment. Now, I personally for the holidays, I don't I don't buy into the whole monetary holiday thing. It's just not my vibe. Um, for Thanksgiving, I um, I'll, I'll make all the sides and eat that for Christmas. Um, I mean, I'll decorate the house to the point where it makes me happy. But as far as gifts go, um, I don't really buy a whole lot of gifts. I mean, I don't buy the gifts. 
Um, and, and the reason that I don't do that is because I don't think that the holiday spirit is about how much money we spend on each person. See, because here's the thing. It's like when BB, thank you so much for my roses. Um, and thank you for my apple orchards, honey. So it's like, okay. So it becomes a contest. It's like, I love this person and I'm going to attach this dollar amount to how much I love this person. And it's just, it, it kind of takes the joy away from it. And Haley says, uh, um, hello, Laura, how are you, honey? Um, oh, 105 for working retail ruined the holiday for me. Oh, yeah. And here's the thing. It's, it's like, even like if you have a kid, I personally, when before Robert and Brandon were like, you know, older, 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 I replaced gifts with experiences. Like we would go do things together or do something like that. And to me, that's more of a longer lasting impression than what, what did I buy somebody? So that's what I'm thinking. Tammy, how are you doing? Kay um, says, yes, Lonnie, I really don't like the Christmas that much. Um, but my husband and daughter love it. See, now if I had grandchildren, I think that it might be a little different. If I had actually grandchildren to buy toys for and to decorate for, I might have a different, we might be having a different conversation. So I don't really want it to be like my way is the only way, but I'm just explaining to you my holiday, my version of what a holiday looks like, because I think it's really rude for me to come on here and be like, this is what you should do. I'm just saying you need to find in your heart what it is that makes you comfortable and what brings you joy. And that's what your holiday should look like. You know, um, let's see here. Mag says, I love that experience holds so much value than, more than gifts. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I do acts of service and, ki uh, service kind of gifts, something that would have more meaning than something that they may use once or twice. Haley, exactly. Yes. I mean, for example now, um, yeah, but gifts for the grandkids. See, that's like I said, you know, if I had grandchildren, I might be having a different conversation. But for now, right now, um, I personally, I am live. I do Saturday mornings coffee with Lonnie. Um, I know you guys have a busy holiday period here in Australia. We don't have Thanksgiving. See, to me, Thanksgiving is nothing more than just a gathering of family and eating good food. I don't really know why we put our where we put pressure on ourselves for thanksgiving i mean christmas is like again we just put pressure on ourselves to buy gifts and get together and have good food so you know that's again we kind of do this to ourselves yes i mean i do get indy something i mean indy's just indy's just a baby indy needs something so anywho, that's what I do. And then, um, so yeah, just, I guess, just find what makes you happy. And then also to, hello, Zoe. And here's the thing though, it's like, as a mom, as a mom, okay, as a mom, I think it's really hard to put pressure on your children to, okay. For example, Brandon and Jen live in Arizona, all right? They're a state away. And, um, they're a state away and I don't want to put any pressure on them to be like, you have to come see me for the holidays. I just don't want to do that. Zo watch. Thank you so much for the subscription. I just don't want to do that. I mean, I think my gift to my children is I'm not going to put any pressure on them. You know, if they end up spending their holidays away and they're with somebody else or they're doing something else, that's perfectly fine with me. You know, I'm not going to be like, you have to do this for this holiday in order to make me happy. I, I just, as a parent, I don't understand that. And so I think sometimes, hi Hayden. I think sometimes family pressures are even more than um, social pressures. So I think at one point you're gonna have to look at your family and you're gonna have to be like, I am I can only be spread so thin and this is what's gonna make me happy. And you're gonna have to set your own boundaries with your own family. And remember, it's okay to make yourself happy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Night Wolf, I, I was doing it on um, the Purple app only, but now I decided to do it on both. Hayden, do you like those new emotes? So that's where, it, I think that that's really um, stresses a lot, a lot of people out is the expectations of what their own family puts on them. Hi, cool girls. 
Um, traveling is a thing that stresses me out the most. I want to chill and enjoy my holidays. Yes, because I know as, okay, because when I was younger and I was married and my kids were younger, there was so much pressure to be like, we have to go see this side of the family and we have to do this and then we have to travel and we have to go over here and we have to see this part of the family. And our, my entire day was spent traveling around trying to please everybody else except my own children. And I mean, and it was really, you know, thinking about it in all the lost time that I have, I mean, it's like my poor, I mean, I, I, I would rather, here's the thing and I'm gonna just say this and I hope that it doesn't come across rude, but I would rather put the, the, my children's joy in front of anybody else. I mean, my own, my own family, their own family. I think looking at my children and like saying like, um, what's going to make, what's going to bring my children the most joy is where importance should lie. And I don't really want to speak for any, I mean, I don't want, that's what, if I could go back in time, that would be the mindset that I would like to incorporate for myself. So a lot of times it's like, you know, I'm a lot older than a lot of you and a lot of you are younger and you're, you're younger parents. And I just want to share with you kind of like my past experience of like, if I had a time machine, I would go back and I would do that. Hello, Ramsey. How are you? Good afternoon. So that's just kind of what I think. I remember when I was young, we had to get up at 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. to travel on Christmas. Allie, yeah. And Vanessa, thank you for upgrading your subscription to the standard. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I, I was thinking about it as I was getting ready, everybody. And I truthfully, my parents did the best they could. I love my parents. Don't ever get me wrong on that. But I really truthfully don't remember ever having like a holiday filled with joy. You know, it was always a stressful experience. So I, 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 as a kid who never really had a joyful holiday, I think that um, making sure that your your children have that joy is the most important. Thank you. You're welcome, Jazz. So that's just kind of like what I'm saying. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to say no. And sometimes it's hard to tell people that, um, sometimes it's hard to tell the people that you love that you're not going to live up to their expectations. So there you go. Um... Mag says, my husband's family is big, and since my mom passed, my dad is alone a lot, so I had to make that boundary that I can't see the husband's side of the family more. I already see them full time, all the time. Yeah, you know what, and I'm sure your dad really appreciates that, too, and it's, it's making those decisions that you have to live with for the rest of your life. I've never been to Denver. If you, if you go back, would you see the family on different days, not Christmas days? Um... Truthfully, the, my husband's side of the family didn't like me, so I, I would, I, I, they didn't like me, I didn't like them, um, so there was never any like, oh my gosh, I can't wait, I had no relationship with my in-laws, so it, it really wouldn't matter to me, you know, I always spent time at my grandparents for the holidays, and it was fun till I became an adult. Um, I did that too when I, um, my dad changed the day we visit the grandma, the grandmother to boxing day as to not travel on Christmas. I love that, Melly. See, and that's like putting your kids first. You're in the same boat. Yeah. We don't talk to our extended family, um, anymore. So it's just me, my parents and sister now. Yeah. That's how it was. Um, well, thank you. Thank you, Keisha. Um, that's how it was with my family. My family is very small. I mean, literally my favorite saying is, is I could put my entire family could sit in a booth at Denny's start to finish. There's me, Robert, Brandon, Jen, Kimmy, and Liam, six people in my family. So we could all fit in a minivan. My entire family, extended family or not, could all fit into a minivan. So for me, having the whole like family pressures is um, is non-existent because I'm the matriarch of the family and what I say goes small, but close knit. Exactly. I have two, I have two sons. My in-laws hate me. Finally, no longer care. Yeah. You know what? Truthfully, they didn't. And it, there's a long sword story. I don't speak very much of my ex-husband and I rarely speak of that side of the family. And that is exactly why. We do not speak politics on this channel. 
So I, we, I, and I know you might not know that, but politics are an absolute zero tolerance subject. This is a, this is a chat to help people feel positive about themselves. And right now, as the world is as it is today, there's just nothing positive in politics. Um, everyone in our family kept getting salty on who we spent with in Thanksgiving, so we started doing an only us vacation on Thanksgiving instead. Ham ham, I agree. Once my mom passed away, holidays just kind of fell apart. So for Thanksgiving, I cook for the VFW for the older vets that don't have any family. Then and then Christmas, I spend with my fa bonus family. Haley, you and I are in the same boat right there. You and I are on the same boat. I only care about my mom, dad, and brother, but I see them every week. So just uh, for an, uh, another dinner, that's cool. Can you show us how to open Supermarket Simulator on TikTok? No, this isn't um, this isn't a gaming one. This is just all talk. I'm not even going to open up Steam today. Uh, or this morning, I should say. Very off topic. I love your hair. What do you use? Um, I have. I got a different color. I got a different. It, I'll put it in my Amazon shop. But um, I've been putting a little bit more color in my hair. It for some reason it looks blue on camera, but outside it's a little bit more burgundy. Yeah, and I know that I'm usually gaming, but on Saturday mornings we're just chit chatting. I love spending time with my family, but uh, but it always gets political. I'm glad it doesn't get that way on here. Nope. Period. End of subject. So now I've been doing this. I, I always have like ginormous coffee cups. Now I've been doing these lives, these kind of talking lives for a very long time. All right. And I'm going to tell you right now, one of the things that I think that is, um, I get a lot of questions about and that we've talked about a lot in the past is like, okay, let's just say you're going to go to a family gathering and then there's like some people at the family gathering that perhaps don't make you feel very good about yourself. Like they might make fun of you for the way you wear your hair, the way you dress, if you have tattoos, if you're not married, if you haven't had kids yet. I mean, just D all of the above. All right. We've all been in that. We have, they have, we have cringy relatives. Okay. Sometimes I think that we forget. I'm going to touch on that really quick because I think this is really important. Sometimes I think we forget that we have voices and that we are absolutely 100% allowed to use them for strangers or for family. And a lot of times what we forget is that we can open our mouths. We can hold up for ourselves without any anger. All right, just because we're holding up for ourselves doesn't mean we're mad, disrespectful, or rude. All right, there is nothing wrong with saying, you need to stop saying these things because you're hurting my feelings. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, that's not being mean. That's not being controversial. That's just speaking your truth. And so, and here's where it gets really sticky, everybody, is that, when you open your mouth and you say that, you're like, you know what, Uncle Joe, what you're saying really hurts my feelings and I wish, and I, I would like it if you'd stop saying those things. Now, if he does not stop or she does not stop, whoever it is, at that point, you have every right to be like, I am no longer going to be at this gathering if I'm the subject to ridicule, all right? You have every single right to remove yourself from a situation where you're not being treated with respect, all right? Um, I've done that for years towards my mom. She always thinks I'm being disrespectful. Corey, unfortunately, the way your mom perceives what you're saying and the way you're doing it, you can't, the only, you can't stop holding up for yourself just because somebody says you're being disrespectful, all right? Here's the thing, though, everybody, and, and I'm going to say it as a mom, if I'm sitting there, let's just say I'm at a family gathering and somebody's being rude to my kid, I'm going to go up and I'm going to punch him in the throat, period, into subject, all right? But your mom might not have those skills where she's comfortable with, um, con with confrontation, so she would rather have you be like, no, 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 it's fine, don't say anything, don't be disrespectful, just take it, you know, butt in your mouth and take it 
that might be her comfort level, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be yours. All right. Because when we don't hold up for ourselves, uh, by the way, you're showing your side of, um, oh crap. Thank you. Oh yeah, I was, wasn't I? Thank you, honey. Thank you. You didn't need to see that. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Thank you, honey. Thank you, Lucas. Ham Ham says we have to hydrate. If you keep suppressing your comfort just to make others comfortable, you lose so much of yourself. Absolutely. Now, Haley says in recent years, it feels like we've lost touch with the true meaning and value of the holidays. It's not about who we can give or receiving the most extravagant gifts. It's about spending meaning. Yeah, it should be about spending meaningful time, uh, focusing on creating joyful moments, whether it's with loved ones or doing something that genuinely makes us happy. The best gift we can give, in my opinion, is our presence, our connection, and our shared memories. Exactly. Exactly. Good morning, Meg. Exactly. Black sheep of the family because I stick up for myself. Um, you know what? If you want to call it that, if, if that's what society is going to tell you that that's what that is, then unfortunately, um, then just be the black sheep of the family. You know what? And that's just, here's the thing, though, is I feel like I'm the black sheep of society because I'm always, always, always um, holding up for myself because there's nothing wrong with holding up for yourself. Because again, I think as a society, we have this ideology that if we open our mouths and we, if we open our mouths and we hold up for ourselves, we're being rude. And I don't understand that. Why are we like, why are we just like doormats? My son enjoys watching you with me. He loves gaming. Ah, well, tell your son hello. Um, Carla says, I'm gay, so you bet I've had to stick up for myself. Exactly. And that is just so ridiculous. And Carla, or anything that it is, here's the thing. You, you should only have to say it once, all right? You should only have to say, you're hurting my feelings. You're making me feel uncomfortable. Please stop. You should only have to say that once and any time that you have to continue to 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 hold up for you or your values or who you are that just sucks the joy out of any gathering so just start making your own gatherings everybody my wife and i cut off almost all our extended family about 20 years ago because they didn't respect our same-sex relationship so happy we did that and got rid of the poopy energy in our lives i'm glad you did too you know <clears throat> Tyler, we're going to, um, let's, I'm glad that you are too, but we, we, we're going to stop that right now. Um, real Juliet's mom says I'm gay too, and just got divorced. And my mom and dad just are just supportive now in, in the beginning. They just owned me for a year, but they missed me. Yeah. And you know what? And truthfully, I don't Here's the thing, everybody. As a parent, we make mistakes, all right? I have made the PEZ system. Thank you for the subscription, honey. Um, I have made ginormous mistakes. I have made earth-shattering mistakes as a parent. And I've had to work really hard to get... Um, we, I've had to work really, really hard to get my relationship back with my children based on the mistakes I've made in my past. So yeah, parents can make mistakes, everybody. Parents can be jerks. Parents can be assholes. Parents can do all sorts of things wrong because you know what? Parents are people too. But if a parent is going to be able to be like, um, um, so if, if parents are going to be like, hey, you know what? I fucked up and I want to, I really do apologize for that. And I want to work on making a new relationship with you. I say, do it. That's, that's, you know, I think that's a beautiful thing. Um, you're, my mom is still an ass, but they're still there for me now. And you know what? Again, parents are people too. I mean, and at least you can acknowledge that, that your mom's an ass, but you know what? Sometimes you just have to accept people for who they are. MJ, thank you so much for my heart and my apple orchards. And Tabitha says, I no longer speak with my family because my dad told me I was taking my son to down there for the way I speak. And also because we don't do holidays. Tabitha, as a parent, 
I, my heart breaks for you, but I'm really glad that you made that decision because nobody should ever, ever say that to you, especially about your children. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, honey. Yeah, we don't pick our parents. And like I keep saying, okay, one of my favorite sayings and how I have gotten to the point where I can absolutely say I love and respect my parents and every decision they made is that I always say, as a child, I did not understand my parents at all. I did not know, I couldn't understand why my parents did what they did. And they their actions caused me a lot of pain. But as an adult, I forgive my parents i forgive my parents for all their trans their their miss their miss um misgivings their the, the i i forgive my parents and i love my parents and they did the best job they could and so i think it was that realization that my parents are not perfect my parents did the best they could my parents never meant to cause me or my sister any pain but transgre trans trans Gresham's, yes. They never meant it in a day of their life. And I don't think, and I have no animosity towards them. Does that make any sense? So Tabitha, um, oh, Ham Ham says, I like to say my t I'm teaching my kids that nobody is perfect for being the parent I am. We try to teach them how to recognize and apologize rather than to be perfect parent or a child. I just want my kids to want to be around me when they're adulting. Yeah, and you know what? I'm very fortunate on that because like I said, I've made a lot of mistakes in my past, but my children, I have a really good relationship. Um, I have a really good relationship, I think now with my children because I, one, I admitted all my mistakes. I apologized for my mistakes and I made their healing more important than me. So I, I put them, I finally put them first and foremost. And I'm like, your healing journey is the most important thing to me. So anything that I feel is going to come secondary. And I was able to, um, I was able to, to build a really good relationship. Um, Tabitha says, AJ and I have discovered things about the holidays that we didn't agree with. So we made the choice not to partake in any of more and my family just doesn't understand that we've just unleashed um, their hatred and their true feelings toward me and AJ and our son. I don't appreciate that. I didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't. Um, it's all good, Lonnie. I sure hope my in-laws are doing well in their lives because we sure are. That's really, truthfully, that's all that matters. You know, that's truthfully at this moment, that's all that matters. And again, as a parent, because I get the unique, I have the unique perspective of being a child that doesn't understand their childhood and a parent who fixed their, their, their transgressions. So, you know, I, I, I can look at it both ways and I'm not a judgy person. I never tell anybody what they should or should not do, but I'm telling you right now, as a parent, I would fucking move mountains to um, rebuild a relationship with a child. You learned from your parents in that aspect. You did what your parents didn't. I do the same. Yeah, and you know what? And truthfully, my parents loved me and I loved my parents. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You know, I turned out okay. And um, I was there for them. They were there for me. Um, and that's just, you know, that's, that's at the end of the day, that's all we can ask for. Um, and Ruby says, it's also the first time our parents are living in this world. We all make mistakes. Yeah. You know what? And here's the thing is, is even with my parents, I did not, I, I did not, we did not see eye to eye in our beliefs at all. I, they were raised one way. I was raised another way. Just decided to, you know, I'm a very loving person. And I say, whoever you are, so long as you're a kind person, do what makes you happy. That's the kind of joy I want to spread. My parents were a little bit more conservative. So, but that doesn't mean that they were, that they, they just didn't understand the world. Just like my grandma. I can remember the, when in the seventies, the moon launch, remember the, the first time that the, they walked on the moon. I remember sitting in class. I was like, Annette, thank you for my apple orchard, honey. I remember sitting in class in like the second grade watching the moon launch and watching them walk on the moon. And I was like watching this in the second grade. Um, 
I love your ink. I really enjoy your content. Thank you, Don. And I would remember watching this and it was history being made. And my grandmother swore up and down that that was not real. She could not fathom going to the moon. And so it's like, um, I didn't argue with my grandma. I just was really like, okay, grandma, you know what? You don't understand it. So that's perfectly fine. Hi, Haley. So uh, we need to have that kind of just like compassion, I think, with our, our older generations because they just can't wrap their mind around it. That doesn't mean that they're allowed to be jerks, though. I mean, there's a difference between not understanding and being rude and being mean. You know what I mean? You're just not allowed to be mean. This is a no mean um, this is a no mean kind of vibe. Um, Kay Bell says, yes, I love my mom and I always try to give her the uh, most respect. She was a single mom. I love that. You know, we all try. And that's why a lot of times people will be like, what is the, like, what's your number one advice to like young moms? And I always say, you're not going to be perfect. Just give yourself a freaking break because you, we put so much pressure on ourselves again to be perfect that even when it comes to parenting, we put pressure on ourselves um, to be a perfect parent. And then we end up being even a worse parent because we're putting so much pressure on ourselves. So anyway, just give yourself some kindness and some compassion. And that's what I'm, that's what I say. You know, that's all I say. I do try. Deacon again, thank you for the follow. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So we talked about holiday stress. We talked about parent stress. Um, is there anything else going on, non-political, that you all want to talk about? I mean, this is a free forum. It's not a trauma dump, but this is absolutely something where if you have questions, you can throw them out there. And if it's a comfortable place to talk about, I, I definitely will. But I want this to be more of like a conversation with us than me just talking to you about what I think you want to hear. Um, Kaylee says, yeah, give yourself grace. Um, I can't stand the parents that make their kids do sports and things they don't want to. Well, yeah, that's because those parents, I think, are making are living vicariously through their children, and they think that that's what it should be, so they're forcing their kids into that. I'm doing good, Kelly, Kelly. I'm ex Oh, Nader, you're excited for snow? I'm excited for, like, jacket weather. My sister don't want to be in my mom's life because of what she did in the past. And you know what? You have to respect boundaries. If your sister doesn't want to, then that's perfectly fine for your sister. You know, everybody, um, I'm not gaming right now. Um, everybody has the absolute right to, um, everybody has the absolute right to, hold on, to pick their comfort zone. So if they don't want, ooh, look how close I am. So if they don't want, if they don't want to be in your parents' lives, they don't have to. That's the way I look at it. Oh my gosh, I got like two big me's. Hi. Mm -mm -mm. Mo says, hi everyone. What a great way to end my birthday by joining Lonnie. Happy birthday, Mo. Happy birthday. Um, are there any, oh, are there any Christmas themed games? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm sure that some of the um, games that we currently play are going to have some DLCs for Christmas. I don't know. That's really weird seeing me be so big. I don't know if I like big me. I like little me. Um, if you have a calling denying yourself wants, desires, even your biggest wants, thoughts. Okay, Andrew says, if you have a calling denying yourself your biggest want. Um, Andrew, can you re... I, I'm not 100% what you're asking. If you could ask that again, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, Nikki says, me and my husband both played sports as kids, as teenagers, but we aren't pushing our kids towards it at all. I love that. I do, I do, do love that. You love Big Me? I, I, know, I don't know if I like... I don't know if I like Big Me. I mean, it's me. It's like it's like we're sitting at a coffee shop having coffee together. Good morning, Tyler. 
And Andrew, if I think I know what you're talking about, um, denying yourself of your, denying yourself of something that you're like biggest desires and wants. So I deny, I, I would hope that you're not denying yourself. I mean, it all depends on what your biggest desire is. I mean, so long as it, again, and I always reiterate this, everybody, so long as your actions don't cause other people um, pain or misery, your desires are absolutely valid. So you shouldn't be, feel like I can't do this because it's going to hurt somebody else's feelings. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't force my kids to do anything, but I do ask them to finish what they start. Jess, that's a really good thing. Um, yeah, I have a nose ring. I got this for my 58th, 59th birthday. I do love coffee and unlucky. Thank you for the follow. Uh, yes, this is like the most ginormous coffee mug ever. But yeah, I mean, here's the thing. Why are you denying yourself of something that you want to do? Is it because you're telling yourself that you're not worthy? Are you telling yourself that you can't do it? Is it like a financial thing? You have to figure out, I would say, go to the root of why you're denying yourself of whatever it is that you are denying. And then at that point, figure out why you're stopping yourself and work on it from the, I would work on it on the subconscious level and then go from there. As long as your subscription is about ready to sus expire. Yes. Good morning, Carson. Yeah. You have to let your subscription end and then you can subscribe at, you can upgrade your subscription. So hold on. Okay, so we started talking about this last night. Hold on here. What did you say? Uh, yeah, that's um, always strange if it is a concern of health and wanting your child to physically develop and be strong. Just take them outside and play. Exactly. You know what? And here's the thing. It's, it's like if, okay, so as a parent, let's just say you have, okay, let's just look at it this way. Let's just say you have a kid that's being picked on and your child doesn't feel like confident enough to hold up for themselves, maybe encourage them to do like some self-defense classes or some like judo or something like that. And um, at that point, maybe take a class with them, you know, and be able to um, give them a sport that will actually encourage their self-confidence instead of forcing them to do something they don't want to do, which is just going to make them break down their confidence even more. Um, what do you think about languages and are there any other languages you can speak? Um, I think other languages are absolutely beautiful. I unfortunately, um, I, I have a really weird thing where I don't, it's hard for me to, to concept other languages because I already have a speech impediment and a little bit of a learning disability, so I can barely speak English. So for me, the idea of learning a different language is never really stuck. It's never really stuck. My basic sub doesn't expire until March. Um, oh, because you extended it for a while. My husband can speak French, but he is French. Well, there you go. I often ask, like, I mean, I would love to be multi. I would be, love to be multilingual, but like I said, I barely even speak um, English. That's understandable. I have a trouble time speaking, but reading and understanding is easy. See, for me, it's how I, it's how my brain processes the information that's coming in. Um, this one right here is the NYX fat oil. I really do like that stuff. It's, it's not expensive and I love it. So for me, it's like, I'll, 
my brain thinks one thing, but when it comes out of my mouth, it says something else. So it's like there's certain words that in my brain sound perfect. And when they come out of my mouth, it's like, so that doesn't really work. What are we playing today? Well, we're not playing anything right now, but we are going to, we're going to do fast food simulator. Um, we're going to do fast food simulator with the mods. Carson, did you want to, are you, are you able to play today, Carson? Um, we're doing fast food simulator with the moderators to start. After that, I'm doing a prologue of a game called Slender Threads. Then we're going to do some more of our, oh, wow. We have 50% of our goal then. We're going to do, um, what else are we doing? Oh, we're going to play some Killer Frequency and then probably some Tiny Glade. See, I think um, sign language is beautiful. Kelly, Kelly's coming in with the apple orchards. I do that with certain words like green beans for some reason. I always say um, greens. I can't, okay, so my G's and my J's, I mess up my G's and my J's. I mess up um, numbers. I'll look at a number and then when I go to write it, I'll have it backwards, which I know that's like I'm dyslexic. And then I don't know my lefts or my rights. My native is Spanish. I'm fluent in English and I know some Portuguese. I wish I knew. Oh, wow. I love, I love how, um, I love how diverse our chat is. Life with Lori, thank you so much for my baseball. See, my ex um, was fluent in Spanish and the only words I still remember are the bad ones. So I don't speak Spanish. Um, Lucas says, yeah, me too, especially when I type my grammar is so bad, but when I speak, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, you know what? We all, I think we all struggle with a little bit of something. <laughs> Carson says, I took three years of French and I can't even count to 10. Um, I think I know uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. I can count to 10 in Spanish. There you go. There you go. Magda, thank you so much for my apple orchard. Yeah, and I can ask where the, I can order another beer because, oh, wow, we just made our, we just made our apple goal, everybody. Hot dog. All right, let's see what else we can put up. Um, let's put up, let's do a little meerkat goal just in case we want to do meerkats because meerkats are super cute. I saw a meerkat in a sweater the other day, not in real life, but in, um, in fake life in TikTok, I saw, I saw a, a TikTok with somebody who had a meerkat and as a pet and they had it in a sweater. Yeah, I've been putting purple, more purple in my hair instead of just blue. And I really, I like it. I think it's a little different. And I've absolutely taken a little bit more time with my makeup. So I'm trying to, I don't know, I kind of got into a little slump where I didn't like anything I was wearing. I didn't like my makeup. I didn't like my hair. I just, I don't know, everybody, we're, I, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely human, just like all of you. And I got, and I, I, wasn't doing my outfits of the day because I didn't like any of my outfits. So, you know, I feel like I'm forcing myself out of my slump and I'm doing that by changing up my makeup, um, changing up the color of my hair a little bit. Um, do, do. Okay. Bye. Bye. We're going to mute you the entire live and then we're going to block you. Okay. So, no, I think, okay, so with my age, my, my skin, everything is changing with age. And it's not a bad way, it just is. 
but if I did black hair, it would absolutely make me look really harsh because I accidentally dyed my hair dark blue one time with permanent hair dye and it just totally screwed up my entire color palette. So I like to do just like a color conditioner with a little tint so you could still see that I'm gray without actually being gray. Carla says, you're gorgeous, Lenny. I love your attitude and the way your age doesn't define how you dress up. No, nope, 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 no, it does not. Vitamin C oil helps with aging lines. Yes, I put either straight vitamin E or vitamin C straight on my face. My mom used, um, use just that i mean i go and i get it in the uh, vitamin section and that's what i put because i'm going to tell you right now oh joseph how are you honey i sent you a message honey and i do love you and thank you for joining um here's the thing everybody you have to understand let's look at the the whole ideology behind aging and the money that brands have selling shit to try to make you look younger, all right? It is absolutely 100% jaw-dropping how much money people spend on the illusion that putting crap on your face is going to change how old you are, all right? And it's just, it, why are we doing that to ourselves? Now, I don't want to look older for one heartbeat, I don't want to look older than 60 years old. Okay. I don't want that, but I'm not upset about looking 60 years old. I want healthy skin. All right. I don't want, um, I, I just want healthy skin. I want to look healthy at whatever age I am, because the reason I'm going out on this ramp is, um, is because every time a brand sends me anything like, um, uh, uh, like face product wise, it all has like retinol or retin-A or retin this. And it's like my poor skin is like, why are you trying to, I don't think, I think retinol burns the crap out of my face because the, the ideology behind retinol is it damages your skin to try to force your body into um, regenerating skin cells. Here's a thought um, drink more water, live, you know, eat better foods, be healthier on the inside and stop slapping shit on the outside. Um, trying to make it, yes, retinol burns. And so stop slapping shit on the outside, trying to make yourself look younger and forget about self care. All right. Self care is plenty of sleep, good foods. Don't smoke. If you are drinking too much, that's going to dehydrate your body. So instead of just pushing a healthy lifestyle, brands push products that are like little miracles in a bottle. And I just, I just don't, I just don't buy into that bullshit. I just don't buy into the bullshit. Yeah. And that's just what I do. Was it hard to be a vegetarian? I'm considering it, but I do love meat. For me, Lioness, it was um, absolutely easy because I already did not eat um, red meat and I don't miss it at all. In fact, today, uh-oh. In fact, today I'm going to do a TikTok on because I have to go, um, I have to go run errands. And I want to go, I'm going to grab something for lunch. And I was going to do a TikTok on, as a vegetarian, how I order stuff at regular restaurants. So look for that. I'm going to do that little TikTok later today. A good SPF and moisturizer is really all you need. Exactly. Hello, Allie. And that's just the thing. It's, it's like they're, um, they've been doing it for centuries. There's no stopping aging. And here's the thing, y'all. Let's just look at this for just a minute. If we stop the aging pro process, if we stop aging, guess what? That means we fuck, we're fucking dead, all right? Do you, I mean, do you, are you so scared of aging that you would rather be dead? I mean, let's get a reality check here. So I would say, bring on, bring on the aging. I'm just glad I'm alive, all right? I don't eat any meat at all. I'm a vegetarian. If it was once alive, I do not eat it. So no meat for me. 
Exactly. It's either age or die, and, the, and I would much rather age. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? And here's the thing. It's, it's like, to me, it's all about, I think, a younger spirit. I would rather have a younger spirit than a younger face. And, ah, oh, Todd is it. Oh, my gosh. Todd just came in. Oh, my goodness. Todd just came in with half the meerkat goal. Cheers, Todd. Everybody, can we please give out some W's for Todd? Oh, my goodness. Darren, thank you for my roses. Hello, mob guy. How are you? My brain has a hard time with no meat, but I feel being a vegetarian would be healthier. I feel much better being a vegetarian. I'm going to tell you right now, I was having horrible stomach issues and I got rid of meat and I, 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 I still have to be careful with my stomach, but I, a lot of my stomach issues went away. Darren, thank you for my roses and look at all those meerkats. Todd, thank you and welcome. Hot dog. I'm having, um, Lucas says I'm having a problem with the sleep part. Um, I'm too much of a night owl. Well, then I say nap whenever possible because I think napping is a, um, is a luxury that we deny ourselves way too much. Mo says I had to stop eating meat due to health reasons, but I don't miss it. I don't miss it at all. I don't miss it at all. And I think it's more about like what we tell ourselves. Like um, if we say, oh my gosh, I'm going to miss meat, then yeah, you probably will. If you're like, you know what, I'm going to find things. And I, I, I get just as much, I get just as much satisfaction and pleasure out of eating vegetarian as I do eating meat. There you go. Um, do, do, do. Kate, thank you so much for my meerkat. I appreciate you. Meerkat, meerkat, we got some meerkats going on. Wipe the camera off a little bit. Um, no, I don't think that I need to do that, especially while I'm live. Oh, yeah. And here's the thing is, it's like the, the science of naps is the fact that if I take like a two hour nap, I wake up and I'm completely, um, and I'm completely like drained. If I take like a 15, 20 minute power nap, it's game on. That's all I need. I know, I know, Carson. I think it was like some like, wipe the camera, please. And I'm like, ooh, no, I'm not gonna wipe your camera. I don't know what you're doing with your phone. So, Kate from Australia, subscribe. Thank you, Kate from Australia. <laughs> I know. And here's the thing, everybody, is I love you all dearly, but this is not my first rodeo. I've been doing this shit for a long time, and anytime somebody asks me to do something, I instantly am like, what do you want me to do? Nope, I'm not going to do it. So if you ask me to say something, I'm going to be like, nope. You ask me to physically do something, I'm going to be like, nope. Because I've got burned. When I first started, I got burnt a lot. And nope, that is not going to happen. Lucas, we run the other way. I love foods that aren't meat, but I struggle with doing meat substitutes. Yeah, you have to be really careful about with that. Lioness, I absolutely agree. There's some meat substitutes out there that just make me sick to my stomach. And there's some that absolutely hits well with me. So just test them out. Don't think that all meat substitutes are created equal. So I would try different brands and find the ones you like. Do I sleep? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> we love the Lonnie Rodeo. Well, I got to tell you, man. The older I get, the more wild that rodeo um, becomes. So it's just, hello, Stella. It's like, um, I don't know. With every passing decade, I just get more and more outspoken. So, y'all, I just turned 60. So who fucking knows what I'm going to be talking about this for the next 10 years? You know, who knows? Not me. Mm-mm. Uh, Gio, I will be on for a little bit longer, and then I'll be back at four. Most of the, ah, Jamie, oh my gosh, did you ever, I know you're busy, but we have to pick a day next week for lunch, period, end of question. 
Most of my customers order the Morningstar or Beyond brand for substitute. See, I don't like Beyond Beyond meat or that. I, I cannot eat that one. That one tastes like rubber, and there's something in it that upsets my stomach. Thursday, yeah. Just pick a day, honey, and uh, I think that will work. Yeah. You, oh, you know what, Jamie? I'm not doing um, morning streams anymore. So let's meet for coffee. Can we meet like at nine? And that would be perfect. I feel like for some people, the older they get, the less they give a shit. Yeah. You know what? As far as I'm concerned, it's, I'm a ticking time bomb and I'm 60 years old. So I'm not going to spend the rest of my life um, wishing I had said something that I didn't, that I didn't say. Sorry if you said it already, but which meat substitute brands are your favorite? Um, I like the Impossible Burger, and then I like the, um, and then I do fake Spam. And then they have like some fake, it's called Wild Catch. Um, they have fake salmon patties. I haven't been able to find that lately, but I really like that one. Have you played Planet Zoo? No. Corn, yeah, the Q-U-O-R-N, that's a really good meat substitute. It's Q-U-O-R-N. I like the chicken ones of that. Would you go vegan? No. I tried, I see, the, here's the thing is, is I like milk, I like cheese, and I like eggs. I've tried the vegan substitute to all three of those, and I was like, I didn't like it. Um, so I probably will stay vegetarian unless something happens and, you know, I need to change, but yeah, for now I'm just a vegetarian. I'm 35 and I'm already at that point. Well, Robin, uh, Robert swears up and down that once, um, you hit 30, you stop giving a shit. And Jamie came in with another beer cat. Um, I've heard from friends, vegan cheese isn't very good. I did not care for it. Um, I just, I mean, I personally don't care for it, but I mean, it's, I, let's just say this. I hope the chickens are well taken care of. I hope the cows are well taken care of when they're giving their milk. So, you know, they're, I just hope that the animals are, are happy when they're producing my milk, eggs, and cheese. Allergic to dairy and can confirm cheese ain't it. Yeah. Ah, baby girl, happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby girl. Happy birthday. Oh, you're downloading the fast food simulator? Awesome. I love that game. We're playing that one later. Now, um, on Monday... Planet Coaster is out and we're going to, I'm going to buy that one and we're going to play that on Monday. So we have a new game out on Monday, which I think is going to be super fun. Yeah. And you know what? Here's the thing, everybody. And I'm going to say this again and again and again and again and again. So long as your actions don't you're not actually going out and your actions are not actively hurting somebody else. Do what you want, say what you want, wear what you want, put, wear whatever makeup you want. You know, we have the right to, to seek our own happiness. And again, we stop ourselves because we're so worried about somebody else. So stop doing that. Todd, thank you for hurting me. So, and to me, that's just the one wish that I, I, I give you is that you seek your own happiness and you're not afraid to find it. That is the whole, you only live one thing. Yep, I agree. Did you see the Dreamlight Valley Showcase? No, I haven't. I don't know. Okay, so let me ask you this, everybody, because you are my gaming experts. Should I get the original or do, do I need the deluxe version? The De deluxe version. I don't know. I don't know which one I should get. Should I get the deluxe one? Because I'm going to tell you right now, let's see, it's on my wish list. So let's see. Oh, you know what? Do you want to see my wish list? Do you want to see all the, the games that I have? Like, um, I 
played Subnautica. That one's a little challenging. Let me go ahead and shrinky dink you up. Boop, hold on. Boop. Okay, we're, we're shrinking. Boop. Hold on, everybody. We're shrinky dinking up. Boop. Okay, now let me shrinky dink me on this side. Boop. Nope, that's just making. Ah! Okay, help. Oh, there we go. All right, Shrinky Dink Lonnie is coming up. Oop, nope. There we go. Ooh, that's still kind of big, Lonnie. Hold on. Oop. Okay. Now, do you like my sound effects? Hold on, I got to do something over here because I have to get the... Oh, and by the way, everybody, if you're not already following me on the purple app, um, if one of my mods could, um, could pin what I'm trying to say... Please, please, please do. Um, I started a purple app a couple of months ago and um, I would appreciate any and all follows over there. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's take a look at my wish list. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I love those, those kind of mornings. Okay. All right, so I found this one. It's called Build a Bridge. And this is going to be out March of 2025. And it's basically we're going to build bridges. So we have that one. And then Hollow Knight. Oh, my gosh. This has been in production forever. All right? I played the original Hollow Knight. When this one comes out, we will be playing this one. I have no idea when it's going to come out because, again, like I said, it seems like it, this has been, a, it's been um, to be announced forever. And then this one, I think this one looks pretty cool. It says, become a restaurant renovator who knows the recipe for success. You know, that might be too loud. Hold on. I'm not too sure about the graphics on that one. Now, this one right here, it's Slender Threads. We're playing the prologue of this one today. I'm in California. So we're playing the Slender Threads prologue today. I played the demo before, and it seemed really cool, so I'm excited to play the longer version of, the, um, of this game. We have a taxi simulator, House Flipper City. Now, I think that's going to be kind of cool. That one, that I have no idea when that one's coming out. Good morning, Sarah. Um, the aquatic store simulator. I saw that one. We have another restaurant simulator. We have a detective. We have a starship simulator. I thought this one, I thought we would go up to space. So I thought this one looked pretty cool. Hi, Sarah. We have, I played the demo of the world, world's worst handyman. I mean, it's okay. It's nothing that I'm super excited about, but it's okay. Good morning, Chris. We have a pizza simulator. This one looks interesting. This one looks like it's going to be a little bit of a difference between like good pizza, great pizza, but a little bit interesting. So I'm excited about that. Now, Little Nightmares 3, we will be playing this one. Um, I think it's just we will have to play this one. Um, we have Detective Stories, Deadlock. This one, we have a demo for this one. It's called Sand. It's an open world. So we're going to be doing that one. This one is a survival horror game. First person investigating. We have a pigeon simulator. I mean, who doesn't want to be... Um, I play anything and everything. Unravel. I've never done that one. And life. Thank you. Life with Lorena. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, who doesn't want to be a pigeon? You know? Austin says, last night you made me fall asleep because the game you played was so relaxing. Um, I was late for work. I'm sorry, Austin. I, we have forgery craft. I don't know about that one. Camping builder. I mean, who doesn't want to build a campsite, you know? I, I love building, and so we're going to be playing that one. We Harvest the Shadows is an excellent, excellent, excellent 
um, demo. Cannot wait for the full one to come out. We have barn and farm and barn renovator. I thought that one was it's okay. The nap was amazing. I woke up with you playing your other game. Oh, good. Now this one, we do have a demo for this one. Mm, yeah. I think. I don't know. The last camper one I played was a little weird. This one, we have a demo for this one. And we have a demo for this one. We now this one here, I think, yeah, this one is the same people as the gas station simulator and the food truck, so I don't know how this one will be. But this one's coming soon. Okay, apparently that's too loud. TikTok's yelling at me. And then we have the motel simulator, my motel, haunted house renovator, coffee house simulator, the mystery cleaner, Subnautica 2. That one I'm excited about. We have the Tales of the Shire, About a Mouse, Bloody Hell Hotel. I think that one looks cute. Late night gas station because who doesn't want to be at a gas station late at night? We have Badlands. We have this one, coffee shop, re-animals um, for the same as the uh, Little Nightmares, cafe simulator. <laughs> I think this one looks cute, Be Gone Beast. I don't know. That one looks a little cheesy, but that's hotel. Full Fathom is interesting. I really like that one. I'm looking forward to that one. It's called Among the Wild. Trash Goblin, we have, the, um, we have the demo for that. We have the demo for the emergency cleanup. We have the Lego Horizon Adventure. That one's going to be out on the 14th. No, Caitlin, the Farming Simulator, when that new one comes out, I think I'm going to try that one. We have a demo for this one, the Amerizone. And we have another Superstore deconstruction where we just tear things down. We have Cafe Manager. We have a detective thing on Whiskerwood. This one is coming out this month. It's Parking World Building. We're going to make, I guess we're going to make garage, um, parking structures. We did the demo for this one. That one was okay. This one right here, Sunset Motel, everybody, this one has a really good prologue out. So if you're looking for one. Yeah, yeah, you like that one, Tabitha? Outbound looks really cool. See, now this is the one that's, oh, it's coming out on Tuesday. This is the one I don't know whether or not I should get the deluxe version. Yeah, Cat Life Simulator. We're going to be a cat. And then we have this one, Van Life, a lot of them with the vans. This one's coming out. This is a real like decision based game. We might be playing that one. This one looks cool. We have Nightmare House, Goblin Cleanup. I have the demo of this one. That's a really good game. Relocation Simulator. This one is for the 26th. We'll be playing that one. Um another diner they're really big on diners a paranormal flipper game i think that one looks fun we're going to be doing house flipper but for haunted um for haunted games we have haunted paws wrong elevator camping life simulator fast food simulator absolutely love under the canopies i thought looked really pretty nightmare house the original again we're we have ghosts in a house. I'm looking forward to playing the thing because I love the movie. Another fast food simulator. This one looks cute. drive through simulator. This one looks like it's same as Fears to Fathom, but that's a roadside arcade. So all of these, I'm looking forward to that one. I know I'm not human. 
That's like um, that neighbor one and then tiny house simulator. This one is actually going to be out on the 5th. So this one will be out. This one's out Tuesday. So we'll play this one. So we'll get the tiny house simulator for Tuesday. Good morning, everybody. Angela, thank you for the auto renewal subscription. So that one's Tuesday, and then the water park one is on Wednesday. Hello, sad and good morning. So those are all the games that we have to look forward to. And then we are doing, this is the demo we are doing. Tonight we are doing this one. So that's the one that we're doing tonight. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, and hello. So that was my hour and an hour and 10 minutes of coffee with Lonnie. So we talked about the holidays. We talked about stress. We talked about boundaries. We talked about pretty much just about everything that I wanted to. Oh yeah, no, I'm still playing the fast food prologue, um, the fast food one. I'll be playing that tonight with my mods. I'm currently playing Life is Strange, such a good game, but some sensitive topic, topics for sure. Yeah, you know what? A lot of times like those real story-based ones that I don't have a whole lot of control over make me a little nervous just because I'm afraid of like it talking about something that I'm not super comfortable talking about. So we do, we do, we do, I do try to keep that um, in mind. Now we have this one too. We have that demo that we're going to be doing. We have so many demos. We have this demo that we're doing. We have this demo. We have, oh, we have a demo for this one. Once I start a game, I want to try to finish. Yeah, me too. We have... Do, do, we have that demo. We have this demo. We have so many demos to try. And... We have that one. We just have a lot. We just have a lot of stuff to do. Oh, yeah. Lowering the sensitivity of your mouse. I do that on any games at it. Good morning, Wesley. Does anyone know any actual good budget PC or laptops? I have MacBook, but um, you know what? Truthfully, I probably since it's already November, I would wait for the Black Friday sale and I would go to like Costco and grab one. You want to see the recycling one? Yeah. I think a lot of them look really cool. I've done this one. Um, I've never played Happy Humble Burger Farm. We could play that one, too. Oh, we have Galaxy Burger. That one looks really cute, too. Yeah. So we have Emergency Cleanup Demo. We have the drive through Simulator. Um, I don't know what that was, but it looks scary. Ooh, we have Barn Finders demo. We have so many to do. So this every day this month, we're going to do something new. Isn't Galaxy Burger cute? Yeah. Um, my, um, my computers and um, I think, a, I don't know what, I think mine's an Intel. I'm not 100% sure, but I got mine at Costco. All right, everybody. So I'm going to run and we are going to be back at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time this afternoon. Now I'm going to start off by opening up our fast food simulator. I'm playing with the moderators. And so we are going to be doing some shifts at our fast food simulator at 4 p.m. After that, we will do... Um, now, did you want to do the recycling one? Because I, I really, I can do any demo we want. Did you want to try the recycling one this afternoon? Let me see. 
Where is that one? Did you want to try this one? Okay. We could definitely do that, Sad. Okay. They really do, Queen. I agree. Okay, so then um, what we'll do is we'll do fast food simulator, then we'll do the recycling center simulator. We're going to do some killer frequency, and of course, we're going to be doing some more tiny glade because I am absolutely obsessed with my tiny glade. If you have not played it, I cannot um, recommend that enough. Ah, uh, enough. Scott, thank you for my amazing teddy bear because I think you are amazing. All right, everybody. That was my coffee with Lonnie. Happy Saturday morning. Please have a great day or a good evening, whatever time it is in the world that you are at. Tabitha, AJ, love you dearly. Can we please everybody just, you know what? Show yourself a little kindness today. Show yourself a little compassion and show yourself a little forgiveness. Don't forget to drink um, don't forget to drink water and wear a sweater today. Love you all dearly. Bye Hayden. And just love you all dearly. And I will see you back at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Have a great day. Remember, let's keep this positivity going. I really appreciate our mornings together. Bogard, you have a good day. And I will be back um, again today. All right, everybody. Love you dearly. Have a good day. And thank you. All right, goodbye, TikTok. Oh, if you haven't already done it, be sure to follow me on Discord and be sure to follow me over on Twitch, everybody. So Discord, Twitch, both, and I record all of these and I put them on YouTube. Those are all in my links that are in my bio. There, I said it because I'm ending my live. Love you all. Bye, everybody. Bye. And Twitch Rooney. I love you dearly, and thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you all later today, and I appreciate each and every single one of you. Love you dearly, and I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, no, not tomorrow. I'll see you later today. Bye, everybody. Bye.